Hello everyone, this is Roger from AirTanksPlus.com. In the next few minutes I'm going to uh, show you our Ragboy external regulator for PCP air guns. So this is it. It comes in a nice uh, neoprene pouch so it's compact, easy to transport. Okay. Inside this bag you'll find... Got the Ragboy. And you'll find another pouch. This pouch has some accessories in it. So I'm going to open that up and show you the accessories and then we'll talk about everything. So there's the pouch. That is a adjustment nut. And I'll show you locking adjustment bolt with locking nut. I'll show you how that works. You also get a lanyard. And on that lanyard we have a male-to-male -male foster fitting and a deadhead. So we're giving you everything you need to uh, play with this unit instead of having to have you order things separately. You know, we want you to have the stuff you need to play with it. You'll need to order a, uh, a fill hose, and I'll go over that in a minute. Okay. This is the Reg Boy. This is an externally attached regulator. So we sell this in two versions. We sell it with a CGA 347. This is called a SCBA valve, right here. We also sell it as a DIN. So we can sell it with this configuration and that'll connect to your all-in-one fill tanks or tanks that have a DIN female fitting on them. Okay, set that aside. The way this regulator works is this is the input side, this is the output, so this output is a female foster quick connect and this can be either a female or with this accessory which is a male to male adapter it can become a male we include this because you may already have a female to female fill whip that you want to use and you don't want to buy another one this might work for you okay I'll unhook that the next thing it comes with is this um, regulator adjustment bolt with locking nut so this is how you adjust the regulator by turning this knob. The farther you turn it in, the more pressure is allowed to come out. You can see the pressure here on this gauge. Uh, you can see it in both PSI and bar, okay? So there might be a situation where you want to lock this down to a certain regulator set pressure. So after you figure out what the optimal um, either tethering pressure is for your gun or the optimum fill pressure, you can actually remove this knob right use this bolt use this bolt to then readjust the regulator for that pressure that you want and then lock it down that way if you want to loan this to somebody to fill your air gun you can just kind of explain how they slowly crack the valve and they can't overfill your gun okay very cool so we're going to attach this to the gun and i'll show you kind of how it works it's got a hand tight fitting so you don't need to use any tools. I'm just going to screw it onto this valve. And this is a um, SCBA valve. This is one of my favorite styles. I love this small handle. The SCBA tanks are what uh, firefighters would use when they go into the burning buildings. There's different style um, valves on this side. But they all usually show the pressure remaining in the tank so you know how much air is in it. I love these because you can just grab one of these tanks and see how much air is in it. So what we're doing with the Reg Boy is we're taking advantage of this gauge. So unlike our Regman product that has two gauges on it, this one just has one that show the output. This is your input pressure, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and lock this down. And I'm gonna simulate this and play with it using this deadhead, and you can do the same thing at home. All right, so I'm just putting that fitting on, making sure it's locked in there. And um, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. So with this fitting attached, the regulator attached. With this knob adjusted all the way out, the regulator is essentially closed. It's not going to allow any air through. This is a bleed knob to relieve the pressure in the back. You'll use this if you want to keep this reg at a set pressure and then remove it. You'll need to use this bleed valve after you turn the tank off to remove it from your gun. So. We'll get started. I'll close this bleed valve. I'm going to go ahead and pressurize the system by slowly cracking this valve. 
It doesn't take much. You'll notice the gauge isn't moving because the regulator is not loaded at all. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a hold of this and twist this knob. And you'll see as I twist it, you see the pressure start to go up. Now we're at 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. So for instance, if I wanted to shoot regulated, one of my air guns loves um, 2,200 PSI. So if I'm going to tether using this setup, I want this set to um, 2200, so about right there, okay? Once it's set, I can then close this valve, right? Open the bleed valve, so the air's out. I can remove this dead head, and then using an external fill, I can now connect this to my air gun Okay, and then I can go ahead and uh, slowly open this valve with the bleed valve closed, and it'll pressurize my gun to that set temp that set pressure. This is great for tethering the air gun. You can also use this for filling an air gun. So if I want to set this up for filling an air gun, what I would do is I would go back to that dead head, which I set somewhere. What did I do with it? Here it is. So I'll go back to this deadhead, and let's say I want to fill my gun to 3,000 PSI. All I would do is make sure this is tight, close the bleed. I would open this again, so it goes right back up to that pressure. If I want to adjust this up a little higher, like to 3,000, I could crank it all the way to 3,000. There we go. And now I'm set to fill my air gun up to 3,000 PSI. So this is now set. I'll go ahead and close the tank. Okay. Bleed the air. Right. Now I can disconnect this, hook this up to my air gun. And then if I want to fill my air gun up to 3,000 PSI, once again, I close this bleed valve. I slowly crack this valve real slow. Go real slow with it. And this pressure will gradually go up and it'll stop at 3,000 PSI. Just like that. That's it, There's a, that's all there is to it, guys. Anyway, this is an interesting product. Uh, a lot of you guys are gonna find a great value in it because it's a fill system and it's a tethering system. So for instance, if you have a like a big bore air gun, we're talking a Texan 45 or 50, you only get a few shots per fill. If you want to shoot long range, you're going to want to tether that gun so that every time, every time you shoot that gun, crack this valve, with this tethered, every time you fire the gun and it needs air, see it goes right back to where it needs to go, look at that. So every time you fire the gun, you'll get a, con a very consistent uh, shot string that way. All right, I've rambled long enough, so I'm going to let you guys go. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at airtanksplus.com. If you like what you see, Tell your friends about us. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm back. I wanted to go into more detail on the hoses, and that's the uh, high pressure hose that you use to tether your gun to the regulated output. In most cases, the guns have a male fill port on the gun itself. It's got a one-way valve, so when you charge up the air gun and you clip on the female quick connect, the air is allowed to pass into the gun, and then when you bleed the system, a check valve closes, and that prevents the air from leaving, okay? So to connect this to your gun, you're going to want a male to female in most cases. And you're going to want this to be at least three foot long. We recommend four foot. Four foot is ideal when you're uh, shooting like us, where we actually take a five-gallon bucket and set our tank in it. And then we you know, put the regulator on it, run this up to the air gun. We make our own custom hoses. We can make them any length you want. We can also uh, make them right angled, just like that. We include the male to male foster, like I mentioned earlier, and this will go in here and convert this to a, a female, or excuse me, to a male foster. That allows you to connect female fittings on it. So we include this uh, just in case it helps you. Uh, if you happen to have a female-to-female -female fill whip already. All right. 
that should cover it. Thanks for watching.